Hello there YouTubers, today, um, well we're doing a video review on Lentment 13 RC, or it's maybe the final release Oh, well I'm doing a review anyway So Lentment 13, what's the improvements and what's not the improvements Well, I've moved from Ubuntu 12.04 um, to a Lentment 13 Because I like stable and fast and so forth I moved to, to Lentment 13 because it uses less resources and so forth and to prove that this is Lentment 13 and not a rip-off version it says release 13 Maya and mate 32 bit so I'm using 30 bit edition which is quite fast still um, <coughs> first off I'm going to do a review of Lentment and then we are going to move on and how to get Compass set up in Lentment 13 as well so two great videos okay so first off if you've used Lensman 13 before, um, you'll get most of the default applications. The only difference is in Lensman 13 is you don't get the sound recorder. And I think that's been removed anyway. But I've had my own little features anyway because it's my primary desktop. I have Banshee, a uh, CD player, Normalizer, um, no way. Banshee, CD player, bit of DVD de burner, sorry, DVD burner, my mistake. You come with a uh, movie player, VLC. And that's it. I think you get name player. I am not. I don't guarantee on that. That dictionary, LibreOffice. I can't remember about name player. I am sorry for the media player, but I'm, you know, I'm not quite sure. You come with Firefox, Pigeon, Thunderbird, Transmission, and X Chat ILC. Graphics. You get uh, I have Mate Image Viewer, GIMP, LibreOffice Draw, uh, Simple Scan, and Thumb G Thumb. Accessories, you get a chief manager, calculator, you know all the basic stuff, image writer, search file, screen, well no you don't get screenlets, actually because I've been it myself, um, take shot, uh, terminal, um, I, th I, th I don't know if you get tomboy notes, don't get me wrong, I'm, I think, and um, plumber, um, text editor, and in administration you get a firewall, a blocker, um, backup tool, and uh, create an installation disk. So back up to create an installation disk. So I apt on CD. Network login, printer, servers, sharing files, software manager, snap to patch manager, system information, time and date, you know, up tomb update managers using groups and wireless drivers. Under preferences you get additional drivers, apparent appearances, and most of the basic stuff you get on instant anyway. You know, like Bluetooth and assistant technologies, file manager. You know, Java and applications, keyboard, uh, menu. You get menu to say sort of like menus, uh, network connections, another Java application, uh, save screen, um, Ubuntu. No, you don't get Ubuntu one. A welcome screen, Windows, startup application, sound. You can install Ubuntu one and all the other extra applications I've installed previously. Sure, you can. So if you've used Ubuntu, if you've used Linux Mint before, it's nothing new, nothing's changed. Um, but um, if you haven't, then give it a try. And have a try to download. It's quite fun, entertainment. Um, next thing, we're going to try out the new application on tool. Try out something great. So um, first off, we're going to go to all applications, and we're going to show you how to get Compass running. So make sure you've got Compass Manager installed. So Compass uh, configuration to manager. You'll need that. As well, you, what, what else you have installed is a called a configuration editor, <coughs> which you will need as well. So you've installed Compass and you've installed everything you need for Compass. Let's move on to getting a Compass set up. So when we install to Compass in the Mate Edition desktop, we go to Desktop, Mate, and then we go to Session. We go to Require uh, Components. You see Compass. This is Windows Manager. Change the Compass. Copy the word what it's just said. Copy it. Right. And then, and then change it to Compass. So the words you've could just copy from that dic dictionary, and then change it to Compass. You'd go to um, Configuration Manager, and um, yes, okay. And you go down to Windows Editor, and then the word you've just copied, which is this word here. Um, place it in here and then space type replace so dash dash replace like you're doing compass dash dash replace just put that down and it should put your default theme up unless you want emerald you'll get emerald but um, I put a commandment because I want the default um, instant theme I just want a bit of 
nice little effects to it. So yeah. Um, a few issues with the compass with Linux Mint. Um, first off, uh, the right clicking does not work. So if anyone figures out features out, then that'll be good. I'll find a way to sort that out myself. Uh, and icons disappear as well sometimes. Um, sometimes they boot up, sometimes they don't. Um, I think it's something to do with compares and mate. They don't really attract to each other that well. I tried to connect to the GNOME session and non-GNOME session and nothing's improved. So, it, you know, having the effects from GNOME and non-non-GNOME because it's based, pretty much mate is based off the GNOME platform. So I thought, you know, could be based off the same idea of GNOME, but it is not. Um, I think, yeah. So that's it, really. Um, have a good day, and uh, I'll see you next time.